Now page four, the massive expansion of the federal Leviathan in order to control we the people paid for by we the people. One of the key election platforms of the Marxist socialists from Vermont is the so-called Green New Deal. Read it. it. Only takes about five minutes. Read the Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez Green New Deal. After about line oh, 23, the nefarious anti-constitutional goal behind this proposed law is clear to see. This is not a piece of legislation. It is a radical manifesto. It is a blueprint for a new society. It has zero to do with the American society and capitalism and our constitutional republic. Instead, the Green New Deal has everything to do with Marxist socialism. It calls for reparations for so-called indigenous Americans and a 10-year plan to eliminate, not curtail, but eliminate greenhouse gases. Now, side note here, if we were to eliminate all greenhouse gases, mankind would die. We'd be wiped out. Ah, but that's just a minor technicality to these people. Calls for a guaranteed job for all people of the United States. Where have we heard that one before? Oh, yeah, the old Soviet Union. How did that turn out? But notice it does not say a guaranteed job for all United States citizens. Thus, clearly, the Green New Deal is illegal, alien, inclusive. It would also provide all people health care and housing and so-called economic security. In other words, the economic mobility, freedom of choice, and the free markets in this republic would be gone, all of it. Government would control all of it every aspect of our lives. It's right there in black and white, a full throttle, cradle to grave, government centric society with no liberty for all. It is the United States Congress's version of the Communist Manifesto. And of course, it does not spell out in any way, shape or form how to pay for this massive expansion of government. But then again, it doesn't have to delineate how to fund it. We all know the answer. Taxes, a wealth tax, a carbon tax. How about a tax on oxygen? Taxes on petroleum until, that is, petroleum is eliminated, and then they would find a way to tax the sun and the wind and the rain. Oh, yes, this is real. This new deal, and there's nothing green about it. It is the same old Marxist socialist pablum. It's full of red, red both in ink and in ideology, as the radical left led by Sanders and AOC, continues its Stalinesque push to massively grow government at the financial and constitutional expense of we the people. And just to prove that she's some kind of scientific genius because she built a mini volcano in fifth grade biology class, here's AOC reading into the record for all of us the Green New Deal. That is every word in the Green New Deal. And I want every person in this body and across the country to ask themselves why this is so controversial. Stop the tape. Well, the reason it's so controversial is because it is effectively a communist manifesto, a roadmap, if you will, to take over the United States filled with all kinds of Marxist socialist plans to change a democrat society, a constitutional republic, a representative republic into a tyrannical society. That is why, young dear congresswoman, it is so controversial. But I don't blame her. She is a product of the public school system. And in the public schools right now, of course, they have been taken over by the radical left, and they're teaching radical ideas to these young minds, and they're not fully teaching the Constitution. Oh, sure, they're giving the Constitution lip service, but they're framing it in all kinds of nefarious ways that don't represent the reality of what the framers gave us. You know, they frame it as some sort of living, breathing document. It's not. It's a contract. It's a contract just like a home mortgage is a contract or just like a marriage is a contract. 
It is what it is, and it's not breakable. It's a contract between we the people and our government in order to preserve our liberties. It's filled with, as Barack Obama used to say, negative liberties. But they're negative liberties for the government. That the government, for example, in the Second Amendment, shall not abridge our rights to keep and bear arms. That's Barack Obama's idea of a negative liberty, negative for the government. You betcha it's negative. And the government shall not, shall not shut us up because we have this crazy negative liberty called the First Amendment. <laughs> and so they don't teach this kind of stuff to AOC. And instead, somewhere along the line, she has been indoctrinated with Marxist socialist philosophy. I don't know where she got it, but it has replaced her education on the Constitution. And clearly, she has no sense of history either. Clearly, she doesn't know what happened in China uh, under Mao, didn't really study what happened in Russia under Stalin, didn't pay attention to exactly what Fidel did uh, besides give them, quote, literacy. She doesn't know her history. She doesn't know her constitution. And so it makes it really easy for her to come up with this crazy plan called the Green New Deal, which is nothing about the environment and everything about taking away the liberty and the freedom of we the people. So AOC has been propagandized somewhere along the line that she now spits this out, but she doesn't realize the big picture. In the end, how do you pay for all of this junk? Whether it's Medicare for all, or the Green New Deal, or college for all, or wiping out student loan, how do you pay for that? It's taxes, of course it's taxes, right? And these are gonna be targeted taxes. And you have to look at taxes this way. We are on this earth a finite amount of time. And we choose, some of us, to work during that finite amount of time. So that money that we earn through our work is part of our life and the life that we choose on this planet. And for government to come in and take that money, take a chunk of our life away, is wrong. It is morally wrong. It is why I believe the income tax is morally wrong. Sure, you want to have a, con a consumption tax out there? where you hit people when they buy stuff, they buy a TV, they pay a tax. If you're wealthy, you buy a yacht, you pay more tax. Fine. That's proportionate, right? That's a way not to punish people for working. But what AOC and Bernie Sanders in the end have to do, they have to punish success. They have to punish productive people in our society and take away what we have chosen to do in our finite amount of time on planet Earth, and that is work in exchange for money. It is morally wrong, it is morally reprehensible, but that is, in the end, what Marxist socialist philosophy is all about. So the Green New Deal, Medicare for All, free college, they're all the same. They're all top-down government-centric plans designed to control people and industry and money. They are ideological, cancers in our society, attacking our free market system, our constitutional republic, and in the end, our God-given liberty. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.